Peace, 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 family. Peace, peace, peace. I just wanted to uh, take a few minutes and accommodate the blog that I wrote today with the little video just to give you a little bit more insight, just to speak a little bit more on it in case if you were a little bit, you know, a little bit more interested in the topic, which was the topic is astrology. And basically the name of the blog is Learn Astrology. Um, I'm one of those people who um, I really, really got in depth with astrology, I would say maybe about a year ago. It just kind of so happened to uh, fall into place amongst um, some things that I was learning at the time. And and I haven't stopped learning it. I've, I found that it's an ongoing learning process. And in learning about astrology, you're really just learning a lot more about yourself. Um, basically, I mean, astrology, it, it just means the size of the stars. Um you know, it, it, it deals with the idea of as above, so below, or as we say, those that are Christians or those that are familiar with it, you know, in the um in the Lord's Prayer, um, as it is in um on earth as it is in heaven. It's basically relating to the same law principle stating that as above, so below, meaning what's in the heavens has to exist on the earth or what's within the universe or basically macrocosms are the same as a micro we can look at the universe as a macro and we can look at ourselves as a micro version of it so you know even if you want to get into science and take a look at the big bang theory which is basically saying that we're all we all come from particles of stardust which means that everything in the universe has to be within us not saying that you know i'm a believer in the the big bang theory so to speak from a science standpoint i understand it um, more so as in how it was taught through mythology and how it came to an understanding. You know, basically science is just a way to try to logically explain something that, you know, may at one point may not have been known. So science is, if anybody's heard the quote, science is basically just known magic because you understand and know how it happens now. So anything outside of that is not really accepted because it can't yet be explained um and you know basically astrology is just all about exploring yourself you're exploring your relationships your interactions with people it's just an easy way to get you to be able to understand things um it's it's, it's dealing all in the mind actually which is why i don't think most people know but psychology is deeply 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 rooted with astrology now and it, it makes, makes sense to me because i know and I study astrology, so it makes sense to say that psychologists deal in astrology. I'm not saying that all of them do, um, but I have, I have talked to people who, you know, actually go to school for psychology, and they, within the course, somewhere along their course load, they had to do an astrological birth chart. And, you know, that's pretty interesting to consider that most people want to say astrology is a pseudoscience. Um um, you know, like I said, astrology, me personally, I say it's a cheat map. I call it a cheat map because, you know, we all have something within us that we have to, we have to walk our paths, which means we have to live our life. We have to do what we are here to do. But in astrology, I say it's a cheat map because it kind of gives you an edge. It kind of gives you an understanding to why you do certain little things the way that you do it. Or why some things may not sit well with you and you may not know why. Because we tend to forget that everyone doesn't operate like us. Um, like, you know, having an, an argument or a disagreement with a person, a lot of times you're just arguing about a perspective. You're not even really arguing about the same thing. I know I find myself in this situation a lot. It's not that I'm arguing that right or wrong. It's just that I'm trying to get you to understand my perspective. As in why I see it the way that I see it or why I respond the way that I do. You know, some people are more mental people. That's, you know, that's dealing in the elements. That's dealing with um, the elements of people's signs. Some people are more emotional. Some people are more of a, or more fillers. Some people are fillers and some people are thinkers. And that has to do with a lot of altercations that we have and we just really don't know it. 
And, um, you know, there are some, some people that you can actually look up and see how their astrological chart correlates with what it is that they've done historically or what type of person they are. You can look at this with some people that are serial killers, some, people who are, some people who are rulers, um, or um, who were previous dictators, or some people who are current, you know, some people like, um, I believe I've sat down and taken a look at Oprah Winfrey's whole entire chart and everything within her chart was basically just you know basically saying why she is in the in the career that she is in why it is so perfect for her why it works so well for her because it goes around when a person is born um uh some there are a lot of books that you can take a look at me personally that's how I kind of got into it um I'm a big books person I love books and I got a couple of books that basically taught me all about the birth chart and how to do the birth chart. Now, we can get a little bit more technical and it's different aspects of different forms of astrology. You got Chinese, Chinese astrology. You got Mayan astrology. Olmec astrology. It's different forms of it. That's a little bit more technical if you're trying to be more so current and you're trying to deal with what's to come and what's evident as of now. But when it comes to this specific... But I think when it comes to the birth chart, I don't think it really plays that much big of a role. I mean, it could. Whatever you're more comfortable with, of course, is more is more so for you. But taking a look at a few books, this is the first one that I got, which is a really, really good book. The Only Astrology Book You'll Ever Need by um, Joanna Wolfe. It's a really, 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 really good book. You can find this at a local Barnes & Noble Books a Million. Uh, whatever type of um, large bookstore that you have, I'm pretty sure that you can find this one. And in here, it goes over every single thing dealing with astrology. It deals with the, the houses. It deals with um, all the planetary influences. It has all the charts that you can look for dealing with your own birthday and pull up all of your signs. And like I said, it even teaches you how to do a chart. And it comes with a disc that, you know, you can put the disc in and it'll actually make the chart for you. Um, this one is fairly new for me. I just went through this one called The Secret Power of You. Secret Power of You. Now, it's not really fully, completely astrology, but it does have a nice little section on astrology. But it goes into other things kind of kind of associated with it a little bit. You have um, palmistry, numerology, tar tarot. It's all in, in here. So, And it's pretty simple. This is a pretty simple, easy to read book. So I like this one also. <laughs> And when you get further in tune with doing your actual chart and you want a little bit more insight a little further, then you can do it all with the only astrology book you'll ever need. But if you want to actually get more and more deeper into it, this is a good one to, to go with by Stephen Arroyo. It's called the Chart Interpretation Handbook. And it'll go deeper into everything dealing in your chart, you know, your elements and uh, your planetary aspects and appositions and if you don't understand the terminology it's going to be a little something that you kind of have to look into and if you're a little more um if you want to personally interact with me on it i do emails at nuriah's readings at yahoo.com the email should be below the video so you can shoot me an email if you're interested in something with a bird chart or if you have a question or something like that i can help you out with it and also below there is a link to the blog, you know, a little further explanation into into um, what I did right, right pertaining to astrology. And um, I have a book here. This one was kind of good and just in kind of letting you know, you know, why you kind of should look into astrology. It's called Relating. The, an, astrolog an Astrological Guide to Living by Liz Green. Green. Liz Green is really, really, really good. She's really, really in-depth. She goes into it from a psychology, analytical psychology point of view. She's under um, Carl Jung, if, you, if you're familiar with him. He's a renowned, he's the founder of analytical psychology. He was very, very, very heavy in astrology. And um, this book here is just kind of good and just kind of letting you know why it's important to look at astrology and how to interact with people and understand people because that's why we can't really get along with certain people. It's just different aspects of people that we don't know and we aren't familiar with. So if you get familiar with it, then you can understand why that person is the way that they are. You know, for instance, I'll give you an example. I'm uh, I'm a Virgo. I'm an Earth sign, so I know that I'm very practical. I'm analytical. I like to do things a certain way. I like to plan certain things out. 
And it's a little more deeper than that, but, you know, if I want to take, for instance, you know, uh, my brother here, he's a Leo, so he's a fire sign. So I know that in dealing with that, we can have opposition because he's more so circled around his passion. He's circled around, you know, his art. And speaking of which, he's an artist. So that kind of, you know, kind of explains it. I'm more so of a pushy, earthy type of person. I need to be more practical, deal with reality a little bit. He's not that same type of person, so we can have an opposition about it, just like my husband, he's an air sign. So, you know, we can have our problems and everything as well, but at least we have an understanding of each other because we do know what type of people we are and what type of personality traits are imposed on us. The goal of it all is to learn that just so you can overcome that. You're not supposed to stay in a box with it. You're not supposed to take it and just be like, oh, this is who I am, this is what I do, and this is the reason for it. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to take it, and you're supposed to evolve, spiritually evolve yourself. You know, you're supposed to, that's kind of where alchemy comes into play. People think alchemy is just solely physical. It just means turning something, turning one metal into another. It's also internal. It's also talking about you turning things about yourself and you making it a strength for yourself. You recognizing the strength in your own traits. Um, another Liz Green book that is really, really good is Astrology for Lovers. This is absolutely amazing book. It it only goes into the 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 signs, the elements, and your rising sign. But this is a very, very, very good book, and it's pretty thick. But one thing about astrology books is you kind of don't really kind of go all the way through it. I mean, you do, but you don't. You know, it's more reference material. You'll really use astrology books over and over again if you're really into astrology um and i got a couple more um this is astrology psychology and the four elements uh an energy approach to astrology and its use in, in counseling arts by stephen arroyo and he's a he's a well-known um writer of astrology and he's also um a psychologist and he's you know licensed for family counseling and marriage counseling so this book kind of explains how to take astrology and use it with psychology and counseling so this is a very very good book and he's a very good author and I also have another one by him astrology astrology karma and transformation um, the um, the inner dimensions of the birth chart this is going a little bit deeper again this is for people that's trying to get a little heavier into astrology um, it goes a lot deeper into different things in your birth chart and what it means. And, uh, let's see, I have a couple by Alan Oaken. I actually just got these, so I actually haven't kind of gotten into these. So if anybody has any insight on these, please feel free to comment on it below. I have Houses of the Horoscope, which is just a deeper look into the houses that you're dealing with. Um, in astrology, in your birth chart, you have 12 houses. Everything, it's a big round circle, kind of like a clock, and it's split up into 12. Um, all these things are really no coincidence. It's just like, you know, if you're looking into the Bible, you know, a lot of astrological references are in the Bible. People don't know it because they don't really study astrology because they think they're not similar but in actuality they're really a lot a lot of like there are many books out there explaining how the bible can be looked at and in and, and coincide with astrology and it can give you an even deeper deeper meaning see the thing about it is it's not about taking anything to really go against religion it's really to take things and build it on top of religion because and what you're getting with religion, you're really only just getting the bottom layer. You're just getting the stories and just, you know, the 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 literal meanings. But you never really get what it really means because it's not taught to people on what it really means, you know. Because it's coming from such an old, ancient system, it's not for everyone to interpret. So what you do is you take astrology and you build it on top of what you know from religion and you grow yourself spiritually. That's supposed to be the whole point of everything. And this last book I have is Rulers of the Horoscope, Finding Your Way Through the Labyrinth. So I haven't read this one yet. So these are these those two are fairly new. I'm trying out a new author. So, you know, that was just my little insight a little bit on astrology. I just wanted to give you a little bit um, just to kind of go with the blog. And, you know, if you have any questions, again, just hit the email that's below. Feel free to comment here. Um, 
and take a look at the blog, comment on the blog. I interact with any anyone that inter that does make comments on the blog as well. And um, again, I look forward to uh, speaking to you next time. And I hope you learned something from me today, or at least I sparked your interest and got you thinking on something. So uh, that's it. So peace, family.